Joey asks, in 1 Timothy 2, the Bible talks about women in the church. However, it seems to denigrate them as inferior to men. For example, the Bible talks about women being silent in church. I have researched this ver verse, but I still remain rather befuddled. Thoughts? <laughs> well, you should be befuddled, Joey, if you think that the Bible thinks that women are inferior to men. Um, read the big, the, the whole thing and you'll, you'll get a different idea. Uh, first of all, Joey, this is a question way too complicated for me to give a short enough answer for an Ask the Pastor segment. But I, I'll give you the beginning of one, okay? The scripture that you referenced, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12, says this, But I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. That verse has a historical context. It's very, very important to know. First, during this time, the culture in general was a male-dominated society. It's no, so it's not surprising that something uh, like this would come out as a description of an initial worship service in a young church. Uh, it was also true that most women would not have the education to assume a teaching role back at this time. Third, these new young Christian communities were already looked upon by outsiders with great suspicion as being hotbeds of heresy and paganism and even potentially being confused with having prostitutes like the local pagan temples. All of this would cause church leaders to be very um, cautious about how they lifted up women to um, local church leadership. To add to this caution, some worship service, and, and you, can, you can read this between the line, some worship services were being constantly interrupted with questions and outbursts, and Paul was looking to restore order. So now you can see more of the context for this comment. Now, let's come back to where we are today. Some Christian traditions want men to assume responsibility for clergy leadership, like the Roman Catholics or the Southern Baptist or Presbyterian Church in America and others. Other denominations have leadership regardless of gender, like Episcopal churches, United Methodist, Presbyterian, USA, Pentecostal, so on and so forth. You can choose those that fit your theology or your favorite church family. I was raised a Methodist, so I don't have naturally have any gender limitation. We had women bishops, and, and so there's nothing in me that says that a woman can't do this or that. Northland, our local church, comes from a more conservative view, so we have kept the governing elder rule, including the senior pastor, to men though we do have women at every level of leadership, including ministers. In any case, from the beginning, starting with Genesis 2.18, where it says, I will make him a helper suitable for him, and that means one who answers back. That's, that's Hebrew for, for helper suitable. It's one who answers back, and it implies an equal partnership. All the way through to Aquila and Priscilla, who were co-leaders, of one of the earliest churches, women have been absolutely essential in all levels of leadership in the church.